Hello again. Welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandria. Now, we're going to get answers for this print pattern we saw on the last video. All right. I've jotted some things down and we see what we can cover. All right. As we look at the hand, if you were to measure this, it would be an earth hand. That is the element, because this is square, and when we balance it with the in, sorry, the Saturn finger, the middle finger, this is shorter. Even though the fingers may appear long, this is shorter. For example, this measures about four inches, and this measures about four inches. That makes it an earth hand especially as we check here. This is less. This is a little over three inches. Sometimes the fingers will match the hand palm in the same length. All right, moving on. Looking at the space between the fingers. This shows an independent thinker when it involves the index finger. You'll notice the index finger is a little shorter, but not excessively short. All right. And here, with the space between the middle and the ring finger, this shows someone who's very open when it comes to things that many of us would be a little private with. Finances, business, they're very open. They, these are your investors, all right? Now, <clears throat> we have space here. Independence here, they enjoy working by themselves. They work well with others, but they are comfortable in handling it by themselves. Moving on, we have a line here. Sometimes it's like a half circle, but it's a line. This is called a Solomon's ring. This means this is a wise person, knowledgeable. Okay, now we have here. This is a mark. It appears to be a mark of aggression. And then it could be more verbal aggression rather than physical aggression. Warrior sword, we call it. All right? Now, let's look at this. This is the girdle of Venus. You notice how it's half curved? It's not fully, but it's wider than I have seen with the examples I've showing, shown to you when we I explained it. All right. With this one... This means that the person has a craving for excitement. Now, this can get into the extremes that can involve um, enjoyment and sexual interests, all of those things. There are no limits. They just crave excitement. Let's look at this. This is the first time you've seen it. We've seen portions of it, but here's one that's fairly well formed. It's always a semicircle on the moon or lunar area. All right. Now, here it is. It's a rare instance to find it broken or sorry, unbroken, unbroken whenever it appears. So you're not going to see little pieces of it, portions. You'll see the entire line. People that have this line are strong when it comes to intuition. They're often widely read and well-educated and able to express themselves with fluency. We find a lot of psychics or mediums have this line or a portion of the line. The more line, the stronger the ability is. All right? Now, another thing is, finally, I think we can just say they often find that they instinctively just know things without really understanding why. Okay. Now, let's look at this. You see these little bits, little pieces, section? That's the faith line. The person started it to work here. And look here, there's a line. I, I made a line here. That's a faith line coming from the lunar area and it's in it stops whatever the problem was but they start again 
it stops and starts again for a short time, and then it stops, and then it continues on. So this is a person that can't quite make up their mind. They're not sure. Maybe it's not the right position or job for them, but they are interested in learning. So when we see this, we don't give up on the person like this. You just hang in there, and hopefully they kind of get things all together. They're more together, all right? So that covers it. You've got a um, little disturbance in the lines, which is normal, the heart line. But this runs on and on and on and on. When it runs like that with this fuzzy area in here, it could be a physical problem connected with the heart, okay? But otherwise, it's just a struggle here, struggle here, struggle here, struggle here. And looks like it wants to continue up here. Yes. That's why prints are very good because you can see things that you don't see in the just looking at the pan, especially if it's a weak line or a thin line. All right. Okay. Well, I hope this helps. If so, give a thumbs up, so share, and Subscribe if you haven't. If you have, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Love yourself. And bye-bye.